Hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me for another episode of the uh, Jupiter 2 model build. So what I've got here is the circuit bay wall and alarm wall. And uh, this is where the circuit boards go and this is the alarm section here. And then we have over here is the uh, translator. And this just fits in through the behind like so. And then uh, there's the alarm piece here with the little dome that sits in the middle and flashes red. So the first thing I need to do is these sections up here I need to remove all the uh, plastic so that I can use these photo etch pieces that you see here. And they just lay on top there so like in some of the other walls I'm gonna have to remove all that which I've done here. Cut out some holes for some backlighting. These need to be removed for the uh, circuit bay wall. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this with my sand primer along the very bottom here. This is a multi-tone wall. I have primed the whole thing with Tamiya White and just added that sand primer. Now I'm going to use some Tamiya Wooden Deck Tan and paint the rest of the wall with that here, as you can see. And then with some Vallejo Green Sky, I'm going to fill in in the middle here the panel sections to uh, divide them up. And I've taped up this area and painted the inside of the alarm area black as well. And, and I pulled all the tape away here. You can see my three tones there. The silver in the very back also I applied. You know the different shades of brown and the green. Now I'm just going to go through the trim here and just do some chrome silver all around the trim. As you can see, I've done. And I've done all around the edges and in the back of the alarm wall. And now here, the uh, photo etch piece for the circuit board right here is going to go behind there. And I'm going to backlight the entire circuit board wall. And there's this real circuit board piece uh, that's a third party piece that goes behind here and the light will shine through and illuminate that. And I've cut, trimmed down the uh, circuit board piece so that it fits exactly behind the uh, photo etch piece here. And I've gone and I have painted the photo etch piece with a, uh, it's hard to tell in this light, but it's a uh, flat aluminum color is what I've painted it with. And I've left the edges there so that I can apply glue to glue it to the uh, back side. I'm going to add some drops of super glue around the corners of this circuit board and just lay the photo etch on top and glue those two pieces together. Then I'm going to go around the edges with super glue and glue the photo etch piece to the back side of the wall as you see right here. And you can see some light shining through the back. The yellow you see is just from a piece of tape I had there, but that's actually kind of the effect I'm looking for is I need it to be orangish and yellowish in color as you can see in this piece here, which is a decal that came with the kit. So I've also painted these other photo etch pieces here just with some primer, and I have them cut out and I'm going to lay them on top of the uh, wall here and glue them into position. I'm just going to put these into their correct areas like so. So they're all glued in place and now I'm applying some Microsol Microset to the front of the photo etch and then I'm going to apply the decals to the various photo etch pieces and uh, get them going with some Microsol and Microset. And here you can see I have all four decals in position. And again, back to the circuit board, you can see when you shine light through, and in all the photo etch pieces, you can see the light coming through the photo etch. So I cut out this uh, decal here so that I have a template of how the colors look, and I have these light gels that I'm going to use various shades of orange to try to get the different shades as seen in this decal. So like I've cut this one piece of orange here which is a bit of a darker orange for the darker orange pieces. And you can see that that matches that. 
and then I'm just going to glue that into position in the back side of the photo etch piece here. And I've done that with a couple different shades, doubled up the orange in a couple spots to make it a deeper orange. And you can see when I shine some light through there you get the different shades of orange coming through the circuit boards. So now I built this little shelf here which is going to hold this little strip of three LEDs which will illuminate the uh, back side of the circuit board wall. And it's a self-sticking strip and it'll just lay on this shelf here and then there's this shroud that will go over to contain the light and bounce it around and make it even. So I've soldered on my wires to this strip and I've secured it in place. You can see that there. And I've painted the back side of the shroud so that there's no light leak. And I uh, did that with some primer and then black over the primer. And I'm just going to glue that into position over the back side of the uh, circuit board wall here. And I've also done a couple light boxes for some of the other photo etch pieces. So moving on we have the translator here and uh, I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I have a photo etch piece here so I'm gonna have to cut out and shave down for the photo etch piece to lay there so that I can backlight it. So I've gone and shaved it down cut out the areas where I need backlight to come through and you can see that the photo etch piece lays on top of there and you can see how there's holes behind there. So I've gone and I've painted the inside of this black. Uh, you can see here there's a decal but I don't think I'm going to use the decal I'm going to actually hand paint it. And then I've painted the inside of this portion black for light blocking so that when the photo etch piece is on top no light will shine through. And I've gone and painted the uh, controls of this translator here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, super glue in my photo etch piece and put that in place. And then I've also gone and I've used my clear red and clear blue Tamiya paints and yellow so that the backlight will shine through and there'll be some color. So I've got a uh, 0603 white SMD LED attached to this piece of styrene here and then I will just glue that into position over the back of this translator piece here and I've painted the back of it black for light blocking purposes. I've also cut this piece of paper out here and I'm just going to lay this in here as a little bit of diffusion to cut down the light and disperse it and make it more evenly lit. I'm just going to glue it in the corners there. And I've got this back plate glued on and have my SMD on and you can see there how the light is shining through. So I've gone and I've done all these light boxes for the various photo etch pieces. I uh, have my wires coming out and they all go to this circuit board here and that's just the three upper pieces. The alarm one here, the wires are right here and they'll be attached to this other portion later. But this here is a control to dim down the uh, light for the circuit board and it all is attached to this pigtail here. So you can see that all of those areas light up off of that one board attached to the back of the circuit board. So I'm going to move on to the alarm portion here. Um, I've got these pieces cut out. This is the little ball piece for the alarm which goes together. Then there's this little saucer piece that attaches and then that goes into this bottom piece here. And it attaches like so. So I'm going to light this guy up. Um, in the show it does light and these are the little alarm lights which go on the sides and I'm going to light those up as well. And what I have here is some 1 16th inch tubing. And this tubing I'm going to use to run LEDs into the uh, dome, into the sphere 
of the alarm portion. And for the side alarm lights, I have this one millimeter tubing, which I will replace with the kit. So the first thing I did is I cut out my uh, 1 16th inch tube to the proper length for the uh, sphere here and I removed the piece that was attached to the sphere. So you can see I just have this sphere which goes together and then my tubing will just fit right into the bottom and allow room for an LED to go inside. So the first thing I've done is I've painted the sphere with a Tamiya flat red just to get a nice base coat surface on it. Then I've gone over it again with Tamiya gloss red. And I have a SMD LED inside there right now just to test and see how it looks when it's lit up. And there it is. It's really hard with camera to show how colored lights really look. Um, that's why I'm adjusting the iris here, but it looks pretty good. So here we've got my uh, one millimeter piece of tubing that I need to cut to length to match this piece here. And I'm going to drill out the center for the tubing to go through. So I've cut off the top and this bottom portion and I've got my tubing cut to length here, which will go through this and into the bottom of that piece. So I'm going to drill through the center of this little portion here using a uh, one millimeter drill bit. And so my tubing fits right through there and I'm going to drill into the bottom portion of this piece here so that the tubing can go in there and hold an LED inside. And you can see my little hole that I've drilled out there and how the tubing will just fit right inside there like so. And you can see here I have an 0402 SMD and the wire fits right through there nice and snug and the LED itself is about the same diameter. And then when it's inside there and I plug it in, you can see how it lights up. So I've gone and painted the tubing now with flat aluminum Tamiya paint. And I've painted the uh, light housing the Tamiya gloss red and then I've painted this bottom portion of the alarm flat aluminum and I'm gonna run my wires for my LEDs for the alarm portion down through the holes here that support the uh, tubing and there you can see my tubing with the LED sticking out the top then I just run my other wires through for the other half. And there we've got both of the uh, tubing that I made in position. And here they are with the red housings on top of my tubing. And then turned on, you can see how they glow red because of the light coming through the red painted plastic. And here's the ball in the middle with a little bit of the uh, details that I painted around and it has its wires running through and that I have a self flashing um, SMD LED inside and I've mounted this whole section into position in the wall now and here we have the back side and I've got my circuit board here for the alarm light this sphere at the bottom goes to this pot here so I can adjust the brightness and I've got my resistors here for the uh, other blinking alarm lights. And here we have the wall in its normal position and when you activate it the alarm lights come on and they do a nice slow flashing. So that covers it for this video. I now have another wall completed. Uh, next video I'll be moving on to the main center console. So thanks for joining me and until next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like.